Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest and another Star Trek Discovery Season 3 review. Another review of Star Trek Discovery. Star Trek, it's more like Star Trek discovering how low we can go. Or how dumb we can get this shit. Now, Star Trek has never been known for being unintelligent. It's never been known for that. It's always been known for the intelligent plots. I mean, you have you have an episode of Star Trek that won a Hugo Award. That was the episode where... Kirk and Spock have to go back in time to stop McCoy from healing uh, this person. And that person would have uh, brought about a, an era of a, move, a peace movement that would have been too early. And then, then, that, then that would have ended in Earth's destruction. Which, yeah. It's like... To save the future, this a, a woman in the past has to this the, this woman who starts a peace movement has to die. Which yeah, that they, they it won that Hugo Award when the Hugo Awards meant something back in the day. Which yeah, don't think I don't think. Star Trek Discovery is going to be winning any kind of awards. Maybe, maybe for maybe like the if the Raz if the there's like a TV Razzies or something like that. Or do the T or do the Razzies do TV shows as well? I don't know. But yeah. Pushing <clears throat> the sprite. It's a good sprite. Died a noble death. Mm. Another dead soldier to add to the collection, folks. Another dead soldier. So yeah, this episode of Star Trek Discovery is called Die. Was d called Die Trying. And yeah. Previously on ST Dumb, everything important was brought up on the, up to this point. Which yeah, these whole previous uh, the whole pre the the in Star Trek, unless unless it was a two parter, you're not gonna get like a previously for for any episode. That's what I miss about Star Trek. One thing that I miss, they used to save previous, they'd say like previously on Star Trek The Next Generation. They only they only did that when it's like a two-part or, or something like that. But yeah. They're going to go in a Starfleet. Got the coordinates. They're jumping there. And they're just looking out the window and Burnham's talking about wants to look for her mom. And yeah, we got Federation headquarters hidden by a barrier field. Okay. Why why isn't why isn't a whole why isn't uh Starfleet headquarters on a planet? Who knows? But yeah. Everything, everything has gotten stupid advanced. Like there are holographic ships for no, which makes totally no sense. There are organic ships made that are organic. You got a random floating rainforest thing, and yeah, we got uh, you we got the USS Voyager, tenth generation, which. That would make it A, B, C, D, 
E, F, G, E, J, J. Yeah, the Voyager J. Yeah, we got the Voyager J. And somehow the pilot of Discovery, a ship from a hundred years before, a hundred fucking years before Voyager somehow knows about fucking Voyager. Okay. Yeah, we're off to a great canonical start here. We're off to a great canonical start. Uh, so they go aboard, yeah, they go aboard the satellite, which is powering the whole barrier field. Although, although like, all the power is being sent to it. And the guy, the Admiral, they, they tell their story to the Admiral guy, and the Admiral guy is like, okay, this is BS. We need more verification here. And yeah, the guy needs trust. What what he really needs is like Michael Burnham to to hold him gently in his in her arms and just coddle him. And yeah, the admiral guy, the admiral guy goes hardball. And then Burnham says, "Yeah, we need to stay together." Really? Why? Although, why would the crew get broken up in the first place? I mean, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Saru is right. How we need to be more respectful. And, yeah, the Emperor gets questioned and uh, shuts down the holograms in front of her just by blinking. So, yeah. Now, if I was the Admiral of if I was the Admiral of Starfleet, if I was the Admiral of Starfleet, I would uh I'd be pouring over those records. I would be going over to the to the Discovery and I would be pouring over all the records. All its trips, everything. I'd be pulling the I would be Pulling the specs from the computer. Everything. When I learned, and then when I learned about the sphere data, I would be, I would be pulling the data from there, putting it on a isolated hard drive or something. Put it in an isolated hard drive. I'd be making copies of shit. I would be making copies of shit. Oh, and then, yeah. And then, yeah, you also have, uh, I'd also, I would also be taking, uh, every, every, I would be taking all the specs apart and all the shit and all that, and yeah. And yeah. Yeah, the discovery has to prove itself, and they they do that by going to an ancient seed ship, an ancient which should be a which should be which why why are why is all the Federation seeds stored on a seed just a random spaceship? You would think. You would think that there would be, like, terrestrial seed banks all over the Federation. You would think... You would think that there would be seed banks all over. They could go to any Federation planet. And on that planet, they would have a seed vault. They could go to any one of them. Hell, I would be surprised. It's like, okay, uh, you, you're you're a member of the Federation now. The the all members of Fed of the Federation on on uh, on their home worlds, they have to build a seed bank that has to store all of the Federation seeds on it, on this, on it, and whatnot. 
Okay. And yeah. So yeah, the one eye. They go to the ancient seed ship. It's in an ion storm. They pull it out. Saru's not with them. I don't get why. He's the commanding officer of the ship. And they find plants all growing inside the ship. Inside the seed ship, which that's, that should be... That should be, uh... That should be interesting for the interior of that ship. And yeah, we got the guy question. Yeah, the guy questioning the emperor. And that guy's David fucking Cronenberg, apparently. How'd they get fucking David fucking Cronenberg for this sh for this show? Any questions are about the mirror universe and whatnot, all that shit. And yeah, the holograms of the family members on the siege ship they're playing the same song that was being played by by the, the tall nose that's going to be relevant sometime security officer nostalgic for her people and yeah what I don't get though is, and yeah, what else? What else? Uh, the family that is in stasis that are all dead. And we got the guy out of phase. And yeah, coronal mass ejection hitting that seed ship. All life on that seed ship should be dead. Like. Like everyone, like everything, and like all, all of it should be irradiated. All of it should be gone. All of it should, all whatever, whatever physical samples, useless now. Everyone on that ship dead. In some, maybe random, maybe almost instantaneously. Why is it even? Why was? Yeah, the odds of. Getting hit by a coronal mass ejection. A CME. The odds of getting hit by that. Like. Like why. Like oh my god. Uh, and the guy. And the, the apparently. Apparently the guy that is out of phase, he's the only one who can unlock the seed vault. And the red, the guy is talked into helping by uh, talked talked into helping them by Burnham. And the guy doesn't refuse his medical treatment, just fucking stun the guy and bring him over to the ship. He's not in his right mind. The guy is not in his right mind. Guys is not clinically not in his right mind. He experienced some traumatic shit. He is not he is not capable of making competent decisions for his medical health and well-being take us take a face take a facer stun the guy bring him aboard the discovery get him some medical help and uh, yeah Apparently the guy was saved because he was in mid-transport when the CME hit the ship and that just did something to the thing and made him out of face. And yeah, you got the security woman staying on the sea ship. Like, really send more than her. Send more than her. 
or or yeah maybe or maybe like move maybe like move the seeds on to the discovery you know at a later time or take the ship with them or something I don't know And yeah, the Admiral guy is convinced by Burnham and Saru that the crew should stay together. And yeah, Discovery is going to discover what happened about the burn. And the piece of music that, 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 that was played simultaneously, that, that Admiral Tull knows, and like the family knew. They're going to, the piece of music is going to be the key. To it all. It's going to be the frequency that was used to blow up the dilithium that was at warp and fuck up all the other dilithium to make it go dry and all this shit. There's going to be some multi dimensional alien that was trying to make contact with the galaxy. And it ended up just, it's, uh, it's method of communicating, it ended up blowing up the dilithium. And we got Giorgio, the emperor, just randomly stares blankly. And, uh, is Discovery gonna get an upgrade at one point? Who knows? And yeah, they fucking got David Cronenberg to be in this shit. I mean, kudos for getting him, but why is he participating in this shit show? Like, I get, I get he needs a pay, I get, I get everyone needs a paycheck, folks. Everyone everywhere, everyone somewhere everywhere needs a paycheck. That's, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my quote. Everyone, everyone, somewhere, everyone, everyone, everywhere, somewhere needs a paycheck. That's a, that's my, that's my, those are my words of wisdom here. Get that down. Right, write it down in your notebook. It's going to be relevant in a test later. Everyone, everywhere, somewhere needs a paycheck. That's, that's, that, that you can quote, that's my quote. Put, put it, put it on the record. Learn it, love it, live it, do it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this episode of Discovery... Like, the, the the reason why they were at the seed ship is because uh, some aliens, they ate some bad food somewhere, and uh, it was killing them. They were convulsing and whatnot, so why couldn't, why, why did they even need the Discovery's help to save these aliens? They have year 3000 medical technology. This species of aliens, I'm sure, would be known to the Federation. They would have their biology in the database. They, know, they would know what exactly is going wrong, what's going wrong. And they would come up, they would come up with an injection and then cure them. You, you would think, or at least put them in fucking stasis, or some, or, or until something can be figured out, or I don't know, yeah, let the, let the advanced technology they have just, just, uh, find a way to cure them. Why did the Discovery need to go to the seed, seed vault? It didn't need to. That's the thing. Okay, and why is there only one seed vault they could go to? Shouldn't there be one on every, everywhere? 
Like, shouldn't there be, like, terrestrial seed vaults on planets deep underground? Shouldn't there be multiple seed vaults everywhere? It's But it's all on this one ship. Okay, that makes no fucking sense. And what? why isn't... Why isn't why isn't uh, all the genetic information for all the plants in the Federation not stored on some hard drive that you could fit onto a USB stick? Because this is the year three thousand, all that information would be fit, you could fit that onto a USB stick. You plug it in, plug it into your computer, your replicator, synthesize the pr uh, appropriate protein, bam, bim, bam, boom, done. Why, why isn't there, why doesn't every Federation ship or outpost have, have, uh, why don't they have all of the, all of the information just stored onto a USB stick that they could pull out every time they need to look at for shit. I mean, all the genetic information for all the plant life and all the plants and whatnot, for, for all the plants, all the plants in the Federation, all the genetic information, all of that should be, should be like, you could, in the year, for the year 3000, you should be able to store all of that shit onto a USB stick. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I don't care if everything has regressed. You should be able to, it, it should, you should be able to have all of that information stored on a, on a data storage system, the su that you could fit onto your hand, the palm of your fucking hand. I mean, yeah, this is re this is fucking retarded. Why? Why is there? E why do they even need physic physical copies of the seeds? Like why? Like why? Like why? Why wasn't? Why wasn't all this shit? Why wasn't it all? Stored everywhere. Whoa. Why, why, why are the future people incapable of... Uh, why do they even need the Discovery's help? Hell, why haven't they even... Why haven't they rediscovered the Spore Drive by the year 3000? Why haven't they dis rediscovered the Spore Drive in the year 3000? Or what about transwarp? Or what about quantum slipstream drive? There's a whole... And you have, yeah, you have the Romulans with that don't use fucking dilithium. They don't use fucking dilithium. At all. Or the Borg. Do the Borg use dilithium? I think they would... I, th they, I think they would have assimilated a Romulan warbird or two, or some aliens comparable to the Romulans. They would have discovered some more efficient power source. No explanation on all the races that don't use dilithium. Hell, why? Why is the Federation even using dilithium at this point in the year 3000? Wouldn't there be some quantum leap? In evolution, in tech, in power generation science. Yes, this episode is completely fucking retarded, folks. And it all goes back. It, it can all the re the retardation of this the re the start the this just the retardation of this shit is the, the dumbing down. Like, no, no Star Trek fan in their right mind is asking for this. I, I don't think I've ever asked in my life for a, a more, a less sophisticated, more dumbed down Star Trek. I've never asked for that in my life. I don't know who wants this shit. I don't know. I don't know if it's just being made just because. 
just because they have the money to do so. The damage being done to Star Trek is almost unfixable without fucking actively retconning all of Kurtzman and J.J. Trek. Hell. Hell, do you even want... Would you even want to see a Star Trek series knowing that this shit had existed? See, you can't... Un, you can't... See, the thing is, with Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, Star Trek Lower Decks, is you can't unsee this shit. You can't un you can't un you can't remove this shit from your mind, or Jar Jar Trek, for that matter. You can't you can't remove that shit from your mind. So if, so if you did say all of this isn't canon, it's all gone. Could you watch a could you watch a Star Trek series again? After having watched all this shit. I don't know. If it was done competently. Done competently by people who love the who love it, sure. It got I could probably watch it, but back in my mind there'd be Discovery and Picard and Lower Decks. So yeah. So yeah, you have a plot that asks, that literally begs the question, why, why, why does the, why do they, why does the future need the discovery, why does the Federation need the Discovery's help to cure the, these aliens? I mean, that would be like, uh... Be like uh, getting someone who uses. That'd be like using a doc. That'd be like tr getting a doctor. That'd be like uh, getting a doctor from like uh, hunt the, the thousand years ago. Getting a doctor from a thousand years ago to cure to cure uh. To cure, to cure, to cure your cancer, or something like that. So yeah, this this is just a bag, big old bag of dumb. I don't have much to say about this shit except that it is shit, and really shouldn't be watched. So yeah, this is my take on this episode of Star Trek Discovery. I don't know how, I don't know how more, how, I don't know how many more episodes we are in, into this till we have a conclusion to this season, but so far, yeah, it, they're continuing the retardation of this Star Trek, of Star Trek. That's all I have to say. So yeah, I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Bloodganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your jewels in one where you can. I'm a spaceman. Peace out.